Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the expansion panel for Angular Material and it looks like this and we're going to be going through the docs and seeing what it can do. So if you haven't seen my tutorial on Angular Material Basics, be sure to check that out and then this will make more sense. Alright, with that said, we're going to be getting started with this example here which just has a header and a description and a paragraph tag. Okay, so in my own blank project, I'm going to import the mat expansion module. Okay, and then inside of my HTML, I'm going to paste that example. Um, and like I said before, it just has a title and a description. So the title is this part here, this left part, and then the description goes here. All right. So our title says this is the expansion title, and then our description says this is a summary of the content. And then we just have a paragraph tag here. So anything anything that you put right here, like we could put multiple of these, um, that'll be the content of the expansion panel. All right, so refreshing our page, we get this. This is the expansion title, and then this is the summary, just like we expected. Okay, now I can drop this down, and then we see our content just like we thought we would. All right, next up is the action bar. So this is a little bar that goes uh, at the bottom once the panel is expanded. Um, and we just use that like this. Um, towards the bottom of our expansion panel, we put this mat action row. Okay, and ours has just a button inside of it that says click me. Okay, um, maybe I'll throw down another one so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so reload the page. Here we go. Oh, looks like I forgot to import the button module because those aren't formatted properly. Um, so back in the module file, I'm going to import mat button module. All right, and that should pull in all the styling uh, we need as well as the functionality for the Angular Material button. And trying that again. Here we go, there are our buttons. Okay, there we go. And if you want to know more about how buttons work, I've done a video on Angular Material buttons, so you can style those and whatnot. Um, but we're going to be moving on to disabling a panel. Okay, so that's just the same as most other elements. All you have to do is mark the element with the disabled attribute. So here in the Mat Expansion Panel tag, I'm going to say disabled equals true. Okay, and you could bind this to a variable. Um, but we're just going to hard code it for now just to see what it does. And now it's all grayed out and you can't click on it. So that works great. Uh, I'm going to reverse that though so we can still use our panel <coughs> for other things. Okay, next up, uh, this section says that we can chain them together to form a sort of accordion. Um, and the way we do that is we put them uh, inside of this mat accordion tag. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll make another expansion panel. Okay, so there's our first one. And I'm going to copy and paste this one again. Um, and then set the title to be 2, so we know the difference. And maybe this one will have one paragraph and three buttons. Uh, what this accordion is going to do is, by default, only one of these expansion panels can be shown at a time, uh, or expanded, rather. So here I'll open the first one, and then if I try and click on the second one, the first one will collapse. Okay, I can have none expanded if I want to as well. And you can see here that they're tightly bound, kind of like an accordion, like the name suggested. So here in the docs it says that uh, multiple panels cannot be expanded at a given time. Um, and that's only because multi is set to false initially. However, if we set it to true, on the accordion, then we should be able to expand both of those panels. So here in the accordion, I'll set multi equals true, and then we should see that we can expand multiple panels at once. All right, so I'll try that now. And there we go, so now we have multiple panels expanded. All right, and then the last thing that it mentions is that if you have content which you would like to be lazy rendered, or in other words, you want to be loaded um, only when the content is expanded, um, you can use this ng template. 
um, the way it works is you just <coughs> place that in here and then you put all of your content inside of the ng template and make sure that the ng template is marked with mat expansion panel content okay so whatever's in here will be initialized only when we expand this panel. Okay, and let's make sure that that renders just the same. There it is, three paragraph tags just like before. All right, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial, you guys. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.